is my unboxing and review for Globan's new limited edition jewelry box. Now this box has a $135 value and if you subscribe to the Artisan subscription box, that's their main box, you can buy it for $50. If you just want this box as a one-time only box, you can purchase it for $70. And like I said, it has $135 value. This box is a partnership with Tribe Alive, which is an organization that um, helps different artisans gain um, exposure and helps them give them a venue to sell their products. They give them training. Um, and so that's who partnered with Globin. This is how the box comes, a little white box. And on the inside, there's a little quote that says, Fair Trade Jewelry is a girl's best friend. And then, if you're familiar with Globin and my unboxings, there's a little information book. And inside, it tells you about every artisan featured in this box. It tells them about them, how they um, started their business, that kind of thing. It's very interesting. So you find out more about the products in your box. All right, and then everything is wrapped up really neatly. Oh, cute, and it's purple, my favorite color. Okay, so um, if you're familiar with my unboxings, you've seen the um, hand-woven baskets and other products that I featured, that have been featured in these boxes, but this is a palm leaf pouch made with, you know, the same ways as the baskets and things, but it's in a cute little pouch, so that's cute. You could just, you could put probably a snack in here or anything. I love the purple color. So adorable. All right, and then inside are all the jewelry pieces. So I'm just gonna pull out one at a time and we will feature each one. All right, all of the pieces in this box are made of brass. Now, in the front of this um, information booklet that I showed you, it gives you some care instructions on mixing, um, I think it's lemon juice and water. Um, there's a little concoction that you can put your pieces in and soak it periodically to keep them shiny. If you want kind of an age, um, you, you know, kind of look to them, you don't need to do that. Okay, so this first piece is the Wave Cuff. It's made in Honduras and Eugenia is the artisan behind this cup, um, this cuff. She's a single mother and she uh, joined with Mia Esperanza um, to um, make an order for Tribe Alive. Um, before that, she was jobless. She didn't know anything about making jewelry. And so through this partnership, she learned a new craft and a way to support her family. So the first thing that Eugenia did when she got um, her income from this job is to buy her daughter a computer and she was really proud that she was able to do that for her daughter. So, and now she is building her own house. So, neat. So this is the piece. Very small and, you know, kind of a thin look. But it has a really pretty design. You can tighten it again for your own wrist. Very pretty. I like it. I'm just going to leave that on. All right, very cute, let's see. All right, this is from Maya Traditions. This is a hand-woven pouch, and it is designed to store your new brass jewelry uh, because it needs to be in a dried, sealed place. So you can even save these little bags that your jewelry comes in, put them back in the bag when you store them. And the artisan behind this is Cecilia, and she started learning um, backstrap weaving at 10 years old to help her parents pay the bills. And now she's one of Maya Tradition's most um, in-demand artisans. So, cute little pouch, let's see what's inside. Ooh, pretty. Let's take this out. Okay, so these are crescent stud earrings. They're from Honduras. And this is another product from Mia Esperanza, and I think I'm saying that right, I might be wrong. But uh, one of the artisans, Dilcia, she um, had been working with this company, um, and then in 2005, a flash flood nearly destroyed her home. She got a loan, and um, as an artisan, and then a local gang. Um, told her she had to pay a war tax. So 
she had to close her doors because she couldn't afford to continue her business and but later she went back to the company she enrolled in a sewing course and um, also learned uh, fabric dyeing and so this piece of fabric behind the earrings is something that she created but I love the earrings they're just they're really nice um, have a nice texture look to them. Definitely something I will wear. The next item is a, a beautiful ring. All right, so I'm wearing my pinky right now. Uh, but this ring and these earrings were both crafted by the same person. Um, her name is Sulba, and she just over a year ago she had never worked with metal ever in her life. She was a seamstress, unemployed. And she um, was given an opportunity to participate in um, Tribal Live jewelry production. And so she received training and so she made the ring and the earrings. So, wait. I like it. And you can bend the ring. You can adjust it to fit your ring size. There you go. We have one item left. We have a necklace. All right, so the last piece is this token pendant necklace from Honduras. And the artisan is Dinia. And this is a really interesting story. When Dinia was a child, she had a life threatening heart condition. And all local um, doctors couldn't know what to do. So it was a couple missionaries by the name of. Julia and Allen that helped her get connected with a renowned surgeon in the United States that saved her life. And when Dina came to the United States, and uh, you know, for the surgery, um, she spent six months with Allen and Julia. And Julia was um, had an art studio, and at this art studio, Dina learned how to make jewelry and so she learned this craft in the states and then she went back to Honduras and worked with Mia Esperanza and to create this necklace for this box so really neat and if you notice it has kind of the same pattern and texture as the earrings so you know all of these pieces work really well there we go together what am I missing yeah that's everything all four pieces so those are all four pieces of jewelry that you receive in this box plus the little woven pouch and the hand woven um, little envelope so if you want this box you can purchase it for $70 or you can subscribe to the artisan box and get new handmade artisan quality products every month plus you can buy it for only $50 as opposed to 70 so that is the box very cute I really love Globin I love their mission I love getting exposed to new artisans all over the world and you get such unique products that you're not gonna find at you know Ikea or wherever you know and I just I think it's awesome I love this box I think the pieces are beautiful and it's definitely something I will wear so if you want to grab your box the details are below I'm also gonna have links to um, subscribe to the artist to the artisan box and the benefit basket now for the artisan box you even get to pick um, some of your themes there's lots of different new um, things that they're doing with their boxes so Check out my reviews here on my channel. I review both the Benefit Basket and the Artisan Box. So there's plenty of reviews for you to get an idea on what the boxes are about. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.